Hey YouTube, Slip on Queen here. Just want to get in here today and I wanted to share a Dollar Tree haul. So I recently went to Dollar Tree and picked up a few items. I had to get on here and share with you guys. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first items I picked up were from the Bolero brand. And if you watched my haul last week, you'll know that I did pick up quite a few items from their new line. Um, but I picked up one that I didn't see last week whenever I went and did my Dollar Tree shopping. Um, I picked up the Hydra Mist Coconut Water. This is their um, two-pack hand cream. And I'm really excited for this. I wanted to open it and let you guys know what I think of it. Because I like to, I don't know, like I like to haul the stuff, but I also like to um, let you guys know if it's worth your dollar or not. So let me get this little glue off. There's always glue on the back of the packaging. So this is what it looks like outside of the pack. At least one of the tubes do. Um... And it does have a little safety seal, so if you want to, like, gift one of them out of the pack to someone, you can, because, um, it does have its own little seal. If I can get it open. I normally don't have a problem with the foil. Like, I might have to... use my knife I'm gonna just like poke a little hole in the top here okay so I've got a hole in it now so there's what it looks like let me rub it in real quick and what I like about these is the more body heat that you uh, you know the more friction you put towards the cream when you're rubbing it in it absorbs into the skin so this one just has a really fresh coconut scent and it's not like the real strong coconut it's just a light coconut but it's nice so i really like that this is a perfect summer uh hand cream so it's super cute and you do get two um in each pack so 50 cent a lotion is not bad i'll put this little blade back up okay all right so then I picked up the Hydra Mist Coconut Water uh, Facial Serum. And I don't know if it was the last haul or the haul before that. I picked up the uh, Himalayan Pink Salt and... Was it coconut? I don't know. I picked up that one and I've been using that not every night but every other night. And I really do like the way it makes my face feel. It makes my face feel like super soft and smooth. And I just really, I really love it because I like to use it around the eye area. Not in the eye but around it because I like to keep that skin really soft and moisturized. Um, so I really like that because I like to use it at night. So it's really good for that. So I did pick up one of those while I saw it. And then I picked up the Coconut Aloe Vera Facial Mist. I was so excited to find this because my last haul I had mentioned that I found the, um, what was it I'd picked up? Oh, the face wash in this one. And I couldn't find, um, the face mist. And I found the one in the, all that glitz. And I also picked up the one in, um, the butter, not, what is it? not butter, um, blueberry bliss. I picked up that one too. So when I saw this one, I definitely grabbed it. It was like the last one on the shelf. So I'm so glad I got it. Um, and these smell fantastic. Yeah, this one smells amazing. It really does have like a nice aloe vera, like kind of a scent. And it also has the coconut. It just smells really good. So I'm super excited for that. And I have been using my Blueberry Bliss one, uh, Facial Mist, and I actually really like it. I mean, it's nothing extraordinary or crazy, but it's just, um, it's just something nice if you just need a mist on the face or, um, sometimes you just need a refreshment, you know, as throughout your day. And I like to use it for that, and it really does, like, um, make my skin feel good. So I also picked up a Dial Sweet Watermelon Antibacterial Soap. I picked up one of those because they had a lot of these last summer. And I did pick up quite a few last summer. But um, they only had one at this store. So I definitely took advantage of that because that's such a nice one. And then back onto the Bolero products. I know I just kind of like randomly threw that soap in there. <laughs> um, but I picked up some of their Paper Facial Mask. Um... I haven't been able to find them until I went to this next store that I um, went to the other day. And this is the, um, they're free of parabens and dye. And I looked these up online because I wanted to know if this brand was cruelty free. And the only thing I could find was there was a few, um, like websites and stuff where they weren't mentioned. And then I looked, I kept Googling it and looking and 
I felt like one company said it was cruelty free, so I don't know. Um, so if you do know for sure, comment down below. But I've heard, I've heard that it is, and then you see some websites where it's kind of like iffy. So just let me know if it is cruelty free, because I'm trying to uh, transition into cruelty free products only um and that's been a, that's been a job because i have a lot of products that weren't cruelty free and it kind of hurt me when i found out they weren't cruelty free because i just kind of assumed it and um so i will be doing a video on that later but i did want to mention that that i am trying to transition to cruelty free makeup and stuff and products that i use on my skin or on my hair and um so anyways back to this uh i picked up two of the paper facial masks from the um, Bolero line. This is the Blueberry Bliss. I picked up two of those. And then I picked up two of the All That Glitz. I thought this one smelled fantastic. It's like a, um, it's pomegranate and green tea. It just smells amazing. And then, of course, I had to get two of the Coconut Aloe Vera um, mask because I just really fell in love with that scent. Whenever I found it in the facial wash, I was like, I've got to find the spray. I've got to find this. got to find that. I was just like on the hunt for those. And I'm so glad I found the mask. And then the last thing I picked up from the um, Bolero line was I picked up the Hydra Mist Coconut Water Facial Wipes. <clears throat> and you get 30 in a pack for a dollar. So I was excited to find these because I love the wipes. Um, and then I picked up another one of the... Um, it's compared to the EO Shave Cream. And it's the personal care brand of pomegranate and raspberry um, shave lotion. I cannot talk today or think. And then on the back it does say that um, this product is not tested on animals. I made sure to look at that when I was at the store because I thought, you know, I really love this. So I wanted to make sure it said that, but it says it right there. So I am excited the fact that it's not um, tested on animals. But... Um, so I definitely wanted to pick that up because I think the EOS brand isn't cruelty free, at least what I've looked up online. So I have a lot of lip balms I want to use up before um, before they go bad that are from the EOS brand because I have a lot in my collection. Um, <clears throat> so then the last thing I picked up from, um, well no, I picked up two more things, I'm sorry. Um, one of the last things I picked up was I picked up one of the scrunchy hair bows and um, this one is so cute because it has like a purplish iridescent and then like a pink color as well and a little bit of a blue undertone. I just think it's so beautiful and it just reminds me of the 90s because like I said I'm a 90s baby so it's like or a 90s kid whatever you want to call it. Um, I was an 85 baby but into the 90s was my childhood so I just think this is awesome because this is just it just brings you back down memory lane you know. And, um, I had so many scrunchies when I was <laughs> younger that I just loved this. And I never had one that looked like this, so, I don't know. It just kind of brought me back, so I definitely wanted to grab that. And then, um, I picked this up because I like to, I take some online classes and stuff. Um, so I like to take notes and stuff when I'm taking the classes and things. Um, so I picked up another notebook. And this one is Life is Sweet. And I think it is the cutest notebook. I just love the fact it has like the donut on the front and it has like the little coffee cups. It has like the mug and it has actual like coffee cup and then it has a bubble tea on it. It's just so cute. So I definitely picked that up for a dollar. They did have this in the composition book as well, like the hardback, but I didn't get that one because I don't like the paper in that. I don't like that you can't rip it out real good or that easy. Um, so I like notebooks like this with a spiral on it so I did pick that up and that completes my Dollar Tree haul so I wanted to go in here today share the items that I did find this time um, with you guys and I hope you guys have a blessed day thanks